Hello everyone, Wayne Jennings here. I know if you're a regular watcher of my YouTube channel, then you know I like to spend a lot of time outdoors, canoeing, kayaking, sleeping in tents, a lot of wilderness adventures. But you know, every now and then, well, I like to be a little more civilized, in which case I hang out in the trailer. Okay, okay, I'll admit it, it's, it's a little more luxurious than a tent in the woods. But you know, every now and then, I like to pamper myself too. I mean, after all, it's got a real bed inside, and most important, it's got a refrigerator, which means I can keep my beer nice and cold. But I, I digress. The point of today's video is I'm going to show you how to replace an RV roof vent. Because no matter what size camper you have, whether it's a small A-liner like this, or a great big fifth wheel, sooner or later, one of those roof vents is going to crack or deteriorate, and you're going to have to replace it. Actually, you know, it's, it kind of looks like a tent, doesn't it? I mean, it's pointed like a tent, and yeah, it's just, it's like a big tent on wheels, that's all. The actual vent lid replacement process takes place on the outside of the trailer, but before you do that, you first have to go inside and open the vent. The next step, of course, is to get a ladder so you can climb up on the roof. Or, if you have a folding trailer, like this A-liner, just fold it flat. This particular trailer has three vent lids on the top here. The one in the middle is an electric power vent, and on either side are these manually operated lids. Now, I think this is a factory original. This trailer is like 12 years old, and as you can see, it's getting very brittle. It's cracking here. I just don't want to be out in a rainstorm and have a big crack form in the middle and I'm gonna get soaked inside if that happens. So I'm gonna replace them with a new lid and it's really simple, take a look. So the original vent lid covers on this unit were all black and I'm gonna replace them with this white color. It'll let more light into the interior, that's what I like to have. Uh, now I bought this at Canadian Tire uh, here in Canada, it cost me $25. Uh, I know you can buy these at various RV supply stores. I've also seen them online at Amazon, in fact, I've included a link in the description below to Amazon. Um, apparently these come in white, gray, or black. The black's nice, but I think that it maybe attracts you know, more sunlight, leads to earlier breakdown, uh, the UV rays or something. I'm not sure, but I'm replacing them with white. It'll let more light inside. Just make sure you get the right kind of lid because there are different hinges. So you gotta make sure they're the same ones on the unit you're installing it on. Now the only tool you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver. There's just two screws on the front here. So take those out like so. And then that just unhooks the plastic from this metal frame. This just hinges all the way back and it comes off the metal frame at the back. This is the uh, slide. There's a new one on the new unit so you can take that right off. Get rid of the old skylight. To mount the new deck lid, you just have to kind of do all that in reverse. But first of all, you have to take this support bar off. So again, there's just two screws here on the front. Just remove both of those. Then once the screws are off, you have to actually take this bar right off, like it just pops off, because it has to go on this slider track, right? So you just kind of put it on, pull it back, now once that's on there, then this just slides underneath onto the uh, hinge rack and then it pivots up. Now you can take this loose end, slide it into the bottom, bring it down, and now it's just a matter of taking your screws, make sure the uh, holes line up. Just two little screws, one screwdriver, that's the only tool you need here one on and the other they don't go very far they're just going into that little piece of metal there there you go five minutes you're done brand new cover for your RV vent lid